But now I'm going to start with like uh, chapter five, uh, protecting uh, communities um, and and tackling the scourge of like gun violence. And I don't think I'll start here. They're, they're mentioning my take on guns as an issue. It's to, for better or for worse, and you can many people can have their many different like uh, issues with like um guns in America and and that sort of thing too. I kind of accepted that like it's legal to for someone a regular person to be able to own a gun to get a gun here in the United States in America because the Second Amendment. Even though there, that's a there's like gross misinterpretation of the Second Amendment, both by judges and regular people. Um, it's I uh, have accepted that it's there, and we have a gun culture in the USA, and I don't know how to get rid of that gun culture in the USA. Um, it's definitely a significant problem, but it's like I think there. But I'm not against. I'm not against like gun reform or reform to gun laws or anything like that. I'm not against that, and that's why. Uh, it, but that's why I want to have like Linquin on and so like talk about guns because like they experience have experience and knowledge about guns that I don't have. So it's like having someone that like has knowledge and experience with guns, and not necessarily passionate about guns. I think uh, Linquin is actually more indifferent. I could have like tried to find like a leftist that like are passionate about guns, um, but I don't want it to be so, like everyone should have a gun as well too because I I don't agree with that either or force people to have them guns. I don't agree with that either. I think like the people that want to have guns for whatever reasons either hunting or protection um i think that, like it as since it, people other people have the rights to carry guns and carrying arms as well too i don't think that should be restricted to like just certain classes of people certain like, groups of people that if uh, others can have like if like fascists are able to carry around like uh, with a gun or something like that then like other people should also carry guns too it's like it's mm, uh, there's it's a lot of deep issues you have to like uh be t handled and taken care of in order to like reduce gun crimes. I'm not passionate about guns. I have them though. I go to the range whenever I can. Too many fascists out there for me to not to carry. Yeah, Raven, that's exactly. Uh, other uh, other like uh, that's why the meme is like you go far, you go far enough left that you get your guns back, because like a lot of leftists uh, say that sort of thing. Uh, my friend Lechonado, she's French, so she's in France, and like uh, France has like uh probably some more significant like a strict gun laws than like the USA cuz like most other countries have m m much stronger significant uh, stricter gun laws than the USA and like but she still says to like uh, the american comrades that for those who are willing to and those who are able to arm yourselves with a gun something like that but responsible gun ownership is definitely something i'm passionate about which is why the john brown gun club and like the socialist rifle association they practice responsible uh gun ownership and gun use as well too um because i think that is like key and because like linda Quinn also said this as well too that's how, how their father taught them about the gun the gun's a tool it's not a toy and like no you have to treat it as a tool like anything else as well too because the tool in the wrong hands any tool in the wrong hands can hurt people and seriously hurt people uh not just gun i understand that people who can make the argument well like a car or a tractor or something like that they have other uses and not strictly for like assault or that sort of thing too like a kitchen knife is used in the kitchen to cut things as well too true you can use it to stab someone as well too but like we're not going to like strict knives or anything like that because of like other uses as well too you know, guns i can understand how people feel like there's only one use for the gun as well too but i'm okay with guns existing as a deterrent or, or and like a, a protection after all that's how countries use nuclear weapons why the hell do countries have nuclear weapons they have nuclear weapons as a deterrent it's a there's only one purpose for nuclear weapons it is just uh, they also there's a ton of like classes uh, to treat a uh, classes to treat uh, uh, people with like gunshot wounds and I uh, uh, cannot suggest more. Oh yeah yeah yeah, John Brown uh, Gun Club does as I mean so yeah you see that I think that's very important and part of like a uh, gun safety. 
because it does accidentally happen for many people uh, hunting. Uh, this got joked and mean when it, it happened, but Dick Cheney didn't like uh, accidentally shot at a person, and I can believe that that like it was the other person that got shot that was was in the wrong because of like uh, it, he should know better not to stand in that current thinking. I don't know the details of how like uh, Dick Cheney came to like shot that person, but it happened while hunting. I can see the scenario where it's like you don't have to be put yourself in danger. There's also a class called stop the bleed if it's, there's no like John Brown come come from like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. And see, hey, there's the thing too. That's again where it's like. Well, some people say they live in the reality as it were, too. I live in the reality that the United States of America, as it is, is never going to give away the guns. The gun, yeah, I do agree that the guns own the USA more than the other way around. And it's just like how there's a, such a deep-seated uh, uh, car culture in the USA. Uh, just by how the, the country's infrastructure was built and how it's like built around assuming people have uh, like cars and how the car uh, lobby for that to be the reason and like uh, cut the like public transportation in very different ways is this USA is a car culture it's just like the USA has a gun culture and the gun culture is the problem in more than ways than one the guns are kind of like um patronize or kind of like um idealize or fetishize and like our media is like a part in that as well too but let, well, let me actually start reading and see what the democrat the, the party platform is on guns um so all americans deserve freedom from fear uh to be confident that their children will come home safely from this the store or the playground and to know that their loved ones will come home safely from their uh ships uh policing the streets uh not all of us have shifts where we're policing the streets but like i see where they're going with this trying to like uh clout like cops as just being like regular old citizens just like you and i fair enough i uh, may go on a tangent about that later on but we'll see okay uh going on to continue on young americans deserve a president who's like fighting to keep guns out of school a woman and and deserves a president who has uh worked her whole life to end violence against women families deserve a president who has delivered safety safety their communities under president uh yeah i know raven is just like oh wow cops are just like you and me <laughs> no they have like the sanctioned violence to uh, be able to like inflict on like this industry as well they're the weapons of the state in order to like impose the rules and something like that and someone argued that this country was like started with a shot heard around the world oh yeah that's true that's true uh that was in lexington right uh according to like classroom uh american uh, public education classroom history which might be true that probably is that's probably is what site is like the shot from her around they're just like you and me it, is um i'm as much as a murderer as a uh, mission and this one man as an any cop yeah exactly now the Shots heard around the world. That was in Lexington, if I remember correctly. That started the Revolutionary War. Um, let's see. The, 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 so yeah, the, the, so yeah, our nation was born out of a gun. That's accurate of the United States of America. I mentioned that the United States of America being fired off a rifle. Just picture that as well too. Um, other president is okay too. Under President Biden, twenty in twenty twenty three, the murder rate uh, saw the sharpest uh, uh, increase in history, and violent crimes and flew um, fell to one of the lowest levels in more than fifty years. He defeated the gun lobby and passed the first significant like federal gun safety law in like nearly thirty years. As and Democrats provided the uh, funding for communities to uh, hire more police. Uh, it's, now this is true. I know this. Uh, they're not wrong. Uh, well it's like now the thing is like how like the 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 first like uh significant like a uh, federal gun uh, safety law in the 30 years that's a little bar because there's barely any so it's like i'm not going to dispute this truth here as well too but this is also true that they hire they like get increased funding for the hire more police because despite how like the the law and order crowd the republicans are no biden increased the uh, spend more on police than trump and that's his, a giant eagle shooting a rifle as to something Bin Laden. At some Bin Laden. Yep, exactly. Sounds more like uh, the whiz through the air. There is as the star painting the bag. Yeah, exactly. 
I've had, I have several issues about like the cops as well too, which is why I have a cap in my Twitter bio as well too. It, it, long years ago, when I was just already streaming in my first year, uh, as someone who was watching me just play Dead Cells, so it wasn't uh, explicitly political as well too, uh, said, "Oh man, uh, hey, I, I, I like you and something like that. You seem cool and all." But I went to your Twitter bio and saw it said a cap in your title. Now there are a lot of problematic aspects about like cops and police and something like that, but I don't think cops are necessary. Now I did not grill this like viewer i did not chastise this viewer for having the view i just politely said okay here's my statement on cops and ranted about the like, cops for 30 minutes as well too uh i was i am still a huge fan of president obama but the one thing that has bothered me was that like how he dealt with like bin laden as well too um i don't, I don't know it's like a one thing is like bin laden was a terrorist as well too and caused the deaths of like uh, hundreds of people and was awful in like uh, Afghanistan and other places as well too and but the thing is like we didn't have to like actually have a military occupation in Afghanistan at all either or yet yeah, many liberals who actually sided with that one because we were p pissed off at like um the 9-11 happened the second 9-11 let's remember that uh, September 11, 2001 was the second September 11th because there was a September 11th, 1973 when the CIA back military coup in Chile happened that like remove uh, the Democratic elected socialist uh, president Salvador Allende of Chile and that where and then that was like Chile fell into like under the di military dictatorship of Augustus Pinochet for 20 years. And the Augustus Pinochet um, uh, Constitution was still in effect until like the last, until like three years ago or something like that. Um, so the first September 11th, September 11th, 1973. Let's all remember that. Uh, the September 11th, 2001 was the second one. Um, but yeah, many liberals you know, were fine with the occupation of like uh, Afghanistan because we we're going after some Bin Laden. But if they just like did like more policing to test the work and not a military occupation, they would have found like some Bin Laden sooner. And that's how we found some Bin Laden it was from through like a policing and detective work honestly not military occupation because that, that that wasn't going to like work too much but we just want to like you know occupy afghanistan as they want to occupy the middle east uh, that's what the old like george w bush from like and his administration definitely dick cheney they wanted for like because like that's what they did before in the 60s and like in the 80s in the 60s is all like in uh, places in like southeast asia hello lucidia you've been doing magical girl screaming um and you're cute by the way hey i mean like that's that's why we were in vietnam it was just so that like there's another war for like our like uh american head and jumbly and then the 80s was in Latin america still in Latin america throughout the 60s and 70s and then like the wars then started happening in the middle east even though there were middle east and before like it like does operation does the storm but yet like it, just two years after like it started in military occupation in Afghanistan we did the military occupation in Iraq in like yeah you know, in Iraq mission accomplished and all uh, especially a hate in the class of black politics he represents the hyper capitalist assimilations that thinks uh, we as black people will uh, get the liberation by doing capitalism both i didn't know you were black uh, raven okay that's good to know uh yeah obama i have many issues with like barack obama as well too especially since like he did like swept the kept the and said to like so many people that like hope and change and yes we can he yeah, he campaigned very progressively as a progressive because he did seem like the progressive compared to like Hillary Clinton, the more well-established like Democratic candidate and more conservative Democratic candidate because like Hillary Clinton wasn't in favor of like gay marriage until 2013 or didn't express her like a uh, support of gay marriage until 2013. While Barack Obama was actually supportive of like uh, gay people a lot earlier than that, uh, I think in, uh, in 2008, honestly, too. Um... It's that's why I judge the side question because I know he's somewhat uh, busy doing uh, this. But do you believe he would have like gotten uh, gone to like Vietnam had JFK like lived through the 60s? Now we would have gone to Vietnam, absolutely. Lyndon B. Johnson went to Vietnam, I'm sure JFK would have gone to Vietnam too.
because uh, that's something that's universal about both parties and why it's, and part of why it's a duopoly is uh, no both parties are interested in foreign policy to like spread America and I'm already have to be BRB because of food well food's important like to so see it go ahead and so too I'm still going to be here I'm going to be here for a few hours to just like try to get through uh, much of like um this sort of thing too um yeah, it is. I can, like, go off in many rants as well, though. No, I think we were going to go into, like, Vietnam as well, too. I bet there's some... Because, like, Barack Obama was more war hawkish in 2008 in the uh, debates than John McCain. And that is significant when you think about it. And I think like, it was proven in once, like, the drone strikes started happening as well, too. Oh, it's just like... so. With like Trump being immune or any president being immune uh, from like prosecution, if what they were doing was in like the interest of the presidency or in the interest of the office, or doing so as a president as well too, yeah, that's now what is like uh, immunity, diplomatic immunity, or like yeah, immunity now, presidential immunity now as well too. But yet we were used to our presidents doing crimes all the time. They would just do it like not on American soil. They would just like coup other countries, dethrone a lot of people. I bet that some like Dwight D. Eisenhower dethroned the president elect of like Congo in like the 1950s. He also, we backed a coup in like Iran in 1954 as well, too. So, no, JFK would have gone to Vietnam. No problem. I, I'm, I have no doubt about that. Um, Unfortunately, the Democratic Party historically is always trying to like have like very conservative members of their party as well too. Like Harry Tr Harry Truman dropped a bomb, two nuclear bombs on Japan to try to end the war. And you, uh, Justin Clark, a uh, friend of like Corey Johnson on the Mind of the Skeptical Leftist podcast, Justin Clark uh, he does like the red reviews with like Corey Johnson on the Mind of the Skeptical Leftist podcast. Justin Clark kind of like said when uh, when you think about like history and how this is, like what if like um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt did not go with Harry Truman, and the reason why he went with Harry Truman as his running mate was so that he could get Southern Democrats to like uh, vote for him in the elections. And to shore up that kind of vote. And Harry Truman was also, like, in a long line, the very conservative, like the Democrats, he was a very conservative Democrat as well, too. And so who knows if, like, how history would change if, like, Frank and Delta Roots up went to, with a more progressive running mate than, like, I heard Truman. So, no, yeah. Uh, to answer your question, Gear, like, no, I, I have no doubt JFK would have also gone in Vietnam. Anyway, so. Uh, okay, yeah, here we go. Uh, back to the, back to the policies. During uh, Donald Trump's last uh, year in office, murders surged by nearly 30%, uh, the highest increase uh, record in modern history. Trump tells families traumatized by gun violence to get over it and brags that he's got uh, nothing... Uh, that he did nothing about guns. His budget uh, repeatedly cut law enforcement funny. So this kind of funny, and that may be true, honestly. Maybe like a, a Trump to like Paul is uh, Trump does cost like a uh, funding for police in like other ways because like honestly, if like a uh, I don't know, remember why he did that or there's reason for that, and maybe to cut the uh, police budgets for like other reasons. But also, I can see like uh, Trump being uh, petty enough to like do that as well too. Even though like the Republicans are taking law and order party yeah there's a lot to say about the particular what if a lot of people a lot of people we had no choice but that's not true oh there was other options they were like being held up by political like a uh, bickering bickermanship uh basically i don't think it's like useful to say if like we it was a good or bad and that we use no news there was like something we could have like not uh, do at least all i'm saying yeah exactly raven I think Sean has a video on, like, the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki that, like, covers, like, the whole thing and all those kind of topics. Uh, it's, it's, like, maybe you can convince me that bombing one of them was, like, fine. But I think, well, honestly, we just wanted to destroy Japan, not just militarily, but economically. Because, like, we bomb civilian uh, citizens' cities. We didn't bomb military targets. Maybe there was, like, a, a port there, but we didn't aim at the port. I, I don't know. It's like, I think I need to be more, more appreciated about Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But I think the point of the dro us dropping nukes, it was to show to Russia that we got nukes, Russia. Better watch out. And thus, the start of the Cold War. Because, like, the USSR in World War II was, like... <sighs> 
we were allies, but the USA and the UK did not want to be allies with Russia. They just did not. We happened to be allies in, uh, in the, uh, with the USSR in World War II. Yeah, or the Americans came, and and from them to uh, for then on, on as well too. Americans and both. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. I agree, Raven. That's Americans like a uh, foreign policy in a nutshell to a lot of other countries. They're just bullies. Uh, I mean, we're they're we are the the USA are just huge, 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 big bullies in foreign and policy just in within Turtle Island. I need like a uh, any. Any uh, indigenous nation here in, on Turtle Island has difficulties getting like their treaties or their rights being recognized by the USA because as there is the um, all the indigenous like uh, tribes are kind of like seven sovereign nations. They are their own nations for their own rules and their own laws as long with that. But yet the um, it, it, honestly for the most time you, what the United States says goes because like those states and those like uh those nations can bring it up to like the un but what the hell is the un going to do their un uh, in a lot of ways the kind of powers to do so like trying to like enforce the united states to uh, adhere to the treaties they signed over 100 years ago but yeah it's like it, it's a big protective but it's honestly true that like the usa are just bullies and that's how they do foreign policy uh, okay, to finish this last part, Americans deserve the freedom to be safe, and America is, safe, is safer today than when, like, uh, President Biden first took office. And th so, despite, so, while the Kamala Harris and the Democrat Party are saying that, like, Americans are safer now, I bet they're going to say, and this is why we're going to increase funding more, to more, more, more funding to afford the cops and border control. Because despite how safe we are now, we need to be safer. And yeah, that's the whole thing. It's like, hey, it's unfortunate that like many people would like the the, the stats don't care about people's feelings. Even though the stats still show that like a lot of violent crimes, a lot of crimes in general are just down, and there could be other reasons for that. I can get into if I remember correctly. Um, but like people, but uh, security or the sense of security is still such like a prevalent like um topic in like uh elections as well too maybe in the main one that people are voting based on as well too as uh, security the sense of security so they want to still feel safe because and yet they don't feel safe and sometimes maybe because the media and how they like um or the news and how they like report on crimes and that's something again if it bleeds it leads and so and news organizations are still profit driven organizations because they're owned by profit driven companies and so it's whatever is profitable to put up on the news that has to like get covered so even though it's like the, there's a significant drop in like violent crimes uh people still want to feel safe and so they want like they'll vote for politicians they'll say they're going to be tough on crimes unfortunately there's a lot of problem with that rhetoric of being tough on crimes but anyway